Hi, I'm Yu Fu, a PhD student from Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm excited to present our work supporting data-driven basketball journalism through interactive visualization. This work is done with my advisor, Professor John Stasco at Georgia Tech. Data and statistics have long been used to measure and communicate sports players' performances. This one is a baseball scoring book nearly a century ago. This is how it looks like 20 years ago. Not much changed here. However, over the last 20 years, things started to change. A series of richer and more complex statistics and models have emerged, particularly powered by the video tracking technologies and computer vision. A vast amount of data has been collected. This shift has brought both opportunities and challenges to sports writers. On one hand, it could help them come up with new angles about narratives and stories based on this data. On the other hand, sports writers don't usually have a statistic background. They usually don't know how to manipulate database or write some codes to do analysis. Then how could we make this massive data and innovative analytics available to writers? And how can we help them explore the data and find insights? How can we help them support their narratives with data-driven evidence and make their narratives more convincing? And how can we make these boring statistics more appealing and digestible to the audiences? To better understand the challenges faced by a basketball writer, we investigate their current work, practices, and existing tools through anthropographic observation, a review of their practices, and interviews with nine stakeholders. To investigate the work settings of professional NBA journalists, we visited the NBA Media Room and documented their work environment and available artifacts using field notes and pictures. To understand the existing tools the journalists are using, we dived into 12 data websites and analyzed their characteristics. To understand the fan base community, we spent several months observing interactions between sports writers and sports fans on multiple social media platforms. To get familiar with the state of the art data-driven basketball writing, we collected and analyzed 55 data-driven articles and 84 basketball visualization posts. Moreover, we interviewed nine stakeholders, including three credentialed NBA journalists, three sports analysts, and three sports visualization practitioners. We then coded our data and triangulated the emergent themes into five primary findings. We found that sports coverage now is speeding up, but these journalists still have to keep their credibility. The role of sports analytics has increased in sports journalism. It offers new ways to construct and support narratives. At the same time, spreadsheets are the dominant ways for sports writers to explore data and show data. Interactive visualization systems are scarce compared to the vast amount of sports data. Most practitioners are using static, author-driven graphics to communicate their insights. The growth of social media has invited more contributors. They're coming from different backgrounds. Sports writers' style have become increasingly diverse, and the boundaries between stakeholders are blurred. By interpreting these findings, we concluded five generic design applications. We selected two application contexts, post-game summary, and a lineup performance evaluation for our prototype development. For each context, we further develop low-level design applications in addition to the high-level ones. You can find more details in our paper. Based on our multi-level design applications, we went through our six-phase design cycle and built two interactive visualization systems, NBA GameViz for post-game summary, NBA LineupViz for lineup performance evaluation, This is the NBA game viz interface. In the top center is a view of the four quarter scores and a game train chart with time proceeding from left to right. Below the game train, there's an events chart sharing the same temporal axis with the game train. Each team has its own role. Bars and dots show the key events for both teams, such as the results of the shots. On both sides of the top view are the shot charts for each team. The dots represent the shot locations on court. The horizontal icicle plots show aggregated statistics on the shots of score types and shot areas. 
Users can use multiple filters to see specific results or type of the shots. Every dot is connected to the video clips of that play. In the middle of the bottom view is a rotation chart for each team. Each row represents a player. The view shows which five players were on the court at that moment. The color reflects the score difference. At the bottom is a four-factor slope chart, which shows the shift of four important analytical factors towards winning a game. On the two lower sides are the traditional box scores. These tables are highly interactive. Each row is connected to other components in system. Hovering on some cells could also give user related data facts. The most important capability of the system is that viewers can select a specific portion of the game, and then all the stats and all the views we update to only reflect what happened during that time interval. The panel to the left allows one to search for different games and show two alternative views at the bottom. One is the scoring chart. It is a customized Sankey diagram. It shows the shot attempts and the scoring distribution. The second alternative view is a traditional play-by-play -play description, along with score difference line running from top to bottom, and the circles and glyphs indicate the lineups and actions. Let's move on to NBA lineup viz interface. In the top center is a ranked lineup chart. Each row shows a particular combination of the players, and the bar length shows the time they play together. The color indicates the team performance. On the bottom is a scatter plot where each bubble represents a lineup, and key statistics are placed on the two axes. Gray circles are lineups from other teams. To the right is a game heat map. Each row represents a single game, with game time moving from left to right. The color encodes score differences. The control panel supports multiple operations, such as selecting a different team, different size of player subsets, setting a time threshold, and switching between regular season and playoffs. It also supports changing the statistics in the scatter plot. The most important capability is when you click on a lineup row or hover on a circle, the heat map can display the period that selected players win the game together. That sums up the two prototypes we developed. They are still up and running. You can find more details on our demo websites. To evaluate our systems, we deployed these two systems into the wild and gathered feedback in three different ways. We submitted over 300 data-driven articles or posts using our own system during our design session for rapid evaluation and reflection. We also ran six expert testing sessions with five experts. Each session contains two parts demonstration and seek aloud, and post-study interview. We also share the link and the tutorials on social media and attach a survey to gather spontaneous feedbacks from broader audiences. Based on the feedback we garnered, we reflected and discussed lessons learned from five perspectives. On our systems, um, from exploring data to communicating insights, on deployment as a method, as well as broader impacts and transferability for other areas. Please refer to our paper for more details. Thank you.